So here's the heavyweight hopeful Curtis Razor Blades. He's done a whole lot of winning in the UFC. It seems like most of the guys he tries to take down, he is able to do so. What have you seen from Curtis Blades thus far in the octagon? Curtis Blades has only been beaten by Francis Ngannou in his UFC career. So when you set him against anyone else, he's the guy that is more likely to get his hand raised. It's the wrestling ability. It's the cardio. And it's the underrated striking of Curtis Blades that makes him one of the best heavyweights in the entire world. Won a JUCO National Championship as a wrestler at Harper College. That came after he earned a full ride to Northern Illinois University. Looking to put his best foot forward here tonight and potentially earn his first UFC championship opportunity. Anyone who watched Tom Aspinall work in training and during his amateur and early pro career felt like they were looking at a future UFC heavyweight champion. Tom Aspinall has every skill you would want from a big man. Moves exceedingly well. His speed is going to be a real problem in, in theory for the opposition tonight. And most of these heavyweights just are not as fleet of foot. That says nothing of his grappling game. This is the longtime grappling coach for Team Calvon. He has every skill in his mixed martial arts arsenal. And scary proposition for the rest of the heavyweight division. He ain't get worse. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Curtis Racer. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Champion of the world, Tom Aspinall! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, it has been a constant evolution when it comes to the UFC heavyweight contender, Curtis Razor Blade. Certainly you know about the takedown game, and how soon will he go to it tonight? Because as the striking continues to catch up to the wrestling, that figures to present Blades with a lot of different options that he can employ on the fight. He loaded up there in that high kick. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Heavy kick downstairs. Blades gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Well, how's that for executing the game plan? He told us he needed to get the early takedown, and he produces right out of the shoot. He got it done, man. Takedowns were the emphasis in camp, and he got it done. He has to be happy that it worked to perfection. Blades making these ground strikes count. Oh, staying busy, fighting off of his back, and he lands. Blades is in half guard. 
Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Blades just passes denied. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Two minutes to go in the round. Oh, he's got his back. Blades is really pressing now. He's got his opponent's belly flat on the mat. Beautiful transition. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm while you have the advantage. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. 45 seconds remain in the round. Good try. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Grounded pound strike there now. Right, so next. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Well, I did get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Nice, good pressure. Keep going with that. Slips. Stay under control. Relax. Start looking for your shot. Good jab there by the chair. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it. He's going in the fight. Oh, nice. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Well, now that cut me up. Oh, oh, big, big oh, shots oh. here. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Good work from the top here by Blades. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Relentless pressure from the top by Curtis Blades. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble and get up. Outstanding like ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. Not touching every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Under two minutes now to go. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Blades ground and pound from half guard now. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, hammer fists and punches here by Curtis Blades. 
there you go. Again, half guard. Excellent ground and pound strikes here by Blades. Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Straight punch, that is useful. Blades gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Nice kick to the body. back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more he is bruce buffett ladies and gentlemen referee herb dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes 20 seconds of round number three we're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed ufc heavyweight champion of the world curtis Razor.